Hey girl, welcome to my Saturday reset vlog. I know I'm usually used to watching Sunday reset vlogs, but this is just my short, realistic Saturday reset vlog. To be honest, I was not in a good mood and I almost stopped filming this a bunch of times because I am not aesthetic and I know that on YouTube and on all these different social media platforms, I'm so used to seeing, you know, these aesthetically pleasing homes and these people that are dressed nice and they look nice and they have their makeup done, but I'm just here to give you guys the real deal. Like, this is not, I don't live like that. I am not that type of person. Like, I live a real lifestyle and to be honest, in this video, I was just very just frustrated and I just needed to reset myself, reset my mood and just really get back to just being happy feeling happy and i just was just really thinking during this vlog like what god has blessed me with and i don't want to um, just let go of just that happiness and the joy that i really do have for something so small so as you guys know we are in the process of looking for a house and girl i can't wait <laughs> i cannot wait because as you can see like our stuff is kind of like everywhere we have our clothes and bins and you know this obviously isn't the worst situation but i'm just so ready for our own our own space like there is literally nothing like your own and even though i've lived in this house my whole life having my own family now and just having my husband and our dogs and now being pregnant i just we need more space so i feel like god is in a season of just making us trust in him and wow continuing to be content with where he has us and i just as this video progressed i just continued to honestly i kept getting very overwhelmed because just i just kept thinking about how i'm just not where i want to be to be honest so i just decided to take a shower i was gonna wash my hair but that didn't work because there were two bottles of conditioner so that just like set me over the top like i'm like oh my gosh i'm trying to reset i'm trying to get in a good mood but honestly it's like those physical things are not enough anyway like sometimes in order to get back in the group of things we need that jesus soul care not just self-care not just the outer things but we need that real deal bible cry prayer self soul care moments you know what i'm saying so after i took my shower and honestly this moment made me feel happy because like you guys know my story and my fertility journey like i'm just so blessed to have my baby girl and i know that god is gonna bless us with our own space to be able to parent her so here i <laughs> i just was just so frustrated and very overwhelmed my heart was like racing and i just had to talk with my husband because also sometimes i've noticed that when i keep things to myself it's a lot i make things a lot bigger in my mind than they actually are so i just decided to talk to my husband and just tell him exactly how i was feeling because sometimes we're not meant to fight these battles alone god has given us partners and people in our lives to fight with us to pray for us so sometimes it's just a matter of opening our mouths and telling them how we feel so i was just out of it at this moment i literally was like having a slight anxiety attack honestly because my heart was racing really bad and at this moment i just knew like i had to go to the lord because it just it was getting real so i decided to open up my bible and i just had to pray i had to throw my phone and really just dive in i feel like a lot of those times when we go to god and don't have anything to say is when he can really move because a lot of times we're just so busy wanting to talk and wanting to tell him what we want the things we need and it's like girl he already knows that just calm down like sit in his presence in quietness you know so i just really gave him these moments and just like allowed him to speak to my heart so 
I began to open my Bible and I couldn't find anything at first. And at first I found, or after a while, I found Psalm 71. And it says, for you are my rock and my fortress. And I noticed that I wasn't going to God like he was that. I was trying to run my own life. And then that led me to Psalms 91 where it says, under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a wall. And again, that allowed me to just put God back on that pedestal in my life so that he can take his place. So those scriptures just really spoke to me and just really allowed me to focus. And then my husband came and prayed over me. And I'm just going to let you guys hear what he prayed because I literally needed those words. Father God in heaven, we thank you. We thank you for all your blessings, God. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercies, God. We thank you that you just take us through everything. You get us through everything in every season. When we don't have it, when we have it, God, you, you bless us even when we least deserve it, God. I just pray that you just continue to guide us, God. Give us your strength. I pray over my wife right now, Denasia. Just give her a clear mind and a clear heart. I, I come against any spirit of anxiety, God, any spirit of depression, any spirit of thoughts that are not of you, God. Just rebuke them in your name, God. We pray that you just show us what you want to do for us, God. Like We pray that you just Continue to bless us in every way you do, God. Just continue to show us your way. I pray that you just let Denisia know. Just show her that you are. You are just the holiest of the holiest. And there is nothing that you cannot do, God. There is nothing that you cannot do, God. You said if we knock, the door shall open. You said if we ask, we shall receive. You said if we seek, we shall find, God. We are asking for you. We are seeking you, God. We are knocking, God. And you are a man of your word. So I know that door is going to open up, God. I pray that you just give us more faith, God. That in the times that we lack, you just show us, God. I pray that you just give us the will to seek you more, read your word, and be more consistent, God. I pray for the house that you are gonna give us, God, because we know you're a man of your word, and we we know you're gonna bless us, God. So I pray for that house, God. Just bless that house and let it be the right time, the right position, your time, God, on your time, God. We all have our own idea of what we want and when we want it, God. Just, just know that we are on your time and we are waiting, God. We know in this season that we have to wait, we have to pray, we have to have faith, God. So I pray that you just give us more patience, God, and just show us, God. Just show us your will, God. Just show us your way, God. I pray that you just help me be a better steward. Help me be a better leader in my marriage, God. Help me be, help help me be a better, a great father. I pray for our, our baby girl that's just growing in my wife's stomach right now, God. I pray that you just continue to give her the strength to carry this baby, God. I pray that you just give her the strength, God. Give her that energy, God. I pray for a healthy baby that we may bring her and just lead her in your way, God. And just raise her up in your way, God. I just pray all these things in the name of Jesus and amen. <laughs> amen. Yeah. I am so thankful for this man. He literally has grown so much in the Lord and I'm just so thankful that he can lead me well and that he's going to lead our daughter and our future children well in the Lord. So just talking to him really just helped me so much. And I just wanna say that if you are feeling like you are in a rut, just know that that feeling won't last forever. That God is like, ready to get on his chariot and and run to us and help us and set us free so 
this is coming to an end i just wanted to show you guys the real deal i don't have it all but i'm just blessed for what i do have and i know that god hears me he knows our needs and he's going to provide so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed be blessed and i'll see you guys next time